Course ESP brings understanding and communication. Keep you safe, and I'll make you happy. ESP is short for Essential Sport Horse Recreation. And it, it, and it took a week to train him to do that. And what I did is I separated the front feet from the back feet. So I want to move the rear end on and turn on the forehand. Got to keep the resources out there. And so I'll turn him over and I can move his rear end around. And it's really easy to do. It's not threatening to teach a horse this. And it's very low resistance. And I can move his rear end to the left. Over this to a little leg pressure. And by being able to move the rear end, I can control that part, and then I can control the front end. I can move the front end around the rear end. And now this is a race horse, and he's just an easy young boy. He's two years old. He's full of himself. He's, he's an adolescent, way immature. But he was just unsafe to be out there. He's not a mean horse. But he was just unsafe to ride because you really couldn't guide him where he wanted to go. So now that I can do this, so this horse, move both these ends, then I can gallop them down the racetrack, whichever where I want. I can go straight down the middle, I can move them over to the outside rail, I can move them to the inside rail. I actually have control over where this horse is going to go and what he is going to do, what's going to transform. So it's for the, the exercise. And the Gallup Boys' safety, and for this horse's safety. This horse costs a lot of money now, and uh, they want to get more money out of it. And it just makes for a, a safer situation all the way around. So, it doesn't matter what type of horse you have, and it doesn't matter what discipline or what sport horse discipline you're going into. Horse ESP, Essential Sport Horse Preparation, brings confidence, communication, and understanding. So that we can put him where we want and what we want to do. So if I want to track through the center, he's pretty fresh. Track him through the center, I can keep him on center. If I want to move him over, I can move him over and I can keep his body straight. So, I can move him to the right. We're using a little right leg pressure. I can straighten him up. I can move him to the left. Use a little right leg pressure. Move him to the left. So, what I did was I taught this cold. Horse ESP is short for Essential Sport Horse Preparation. As soon as you can safely ride the horse, I start teaching him this program. This, this program I call it Essential Sport Horse Preparation. So, for him to go to the left, I can just turn his head to the left, and we can turn around to the left like that. Turn on the haunches like this, around. You know, I can get speed later. I'm not worried about speed now. I'm worried about him being correct. So he's just a colt, he's just a baby. He needs to be a baby. So if I can, now that I've got the front end clearly separated from the back end, I would be able to do a lot with this horse. If I can, I could flop him in front end like a stick right here. If I want to bring the, the front end around like this, I'll park the rear end, bring the front around like that, and park that rear end like this. Park the front and bring the rear end around, like that. See? I can bring the front end around again. Leave that back part. I just want to see the bump on his eye. I don't need to see his eye itself. I don't lean out here to look at it. Just look down the neck. I just get his head slightly bent like that, twist my seat to the right, use my right leg, and twist my seat towards the left, tell him over. 
And I'll just push him with my leg and take my foot out each step like that. Good boy. Now that's a good boy. See? So, when you can move your horse's face this way to the left, and you can move his rear end to the left into his eye, that's when you have control of the rear end. If you pull his face to the right, kick his rear end to the left, yeah, you're moving the rear end, but if you can't get his face to the left and move the rear end, then you haven't got control of it. So the first thing you need to teach this horse is control the rear end. So what? Let's move it to the right like this. That's good. Oh, let's stop it. Let's move it to the left like that. This is control of the rear end. If I'm walking this horse away from you like this. So this led to uh, this little program I put together. It's, I call it essential sport horse preparation. And it's for all disciplines. his eye to the right just a little and I'm going to push his rear end to the right and I tell him over and I just want it's like a little step at a time here good boy more good more good boy more and we'll I'm going to move his front end around his rear end. I turn on the haunches. I'm going to move to the right first. Always want to go the same direction the first time. It eliminates confusion for the horse. Now he has never done this before, so what I need to pay attention to is that his balance is back here on his rear, is back here on his rear end. So I will rock him back with my hands, and I'm gonna use a little bit of left leg pressure to keep this rear end from flying out. If it starts to step out, I'll stop what I'm doing, and I'll push it back where it came from. That's why I need control of the rear end. So I'll start backing him up. I'll use a little left leg pressure, and as he starts back, I'm going to do my releasing, and then I'm just going to ask him to come to the right, and when that right foot steps out, I'm going to release it, and I'm going to ask for the left foot. Okay, oh good. He maneuvered himself in good position. So, I'm going to start it right here. Good, good. Keep him back. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left. Good boy, Bert. That was good. Half a turn's really good. Here we go some more. I'm going to rock him back. The left leg. And right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Good boy, Bert. You'll never see that that good the first time you do it. He's, he's trying. That's a good boy, Bert. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. I'll use a little right leg pressure, starting back, and we got left foot, keeping seats. Okay, see that rear end flopped out? I'm gonna push it back. See, I pushed it back where it came from. Good boy, Bert. Very important, try it again. A little right leg pressure, good. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now see that rear, good boy, Bert. You see that rear end start to step over? I held it, I pushed it back with my right leg. Now I'll do some more, a little right leg pressure, good boy. 
Left, right, left, right, left, right. Good boy. Good boy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dub in some videos on this tape of the turns on the forehand, the back and down the fence line, and the turn on the haunches. So you can see more and how important it is on this timing, feel, balance, pressure, and release. I dare not do any more with this horse today. He is doing so good. And it's just time to say thank you very much. Thank you for your hospitality. And uh, I hope to see you soon. I travel around a little.